In today's video, I will be sharing with you an updated version of my red velvet cake which was stacked with my yogurt cake to produce and decorate this amazing dinosaur themed cake. Stay tuned. In an empty bowl, I will be saving two and a half cups of flour. Then I will be adding half cup of corn starch. There is my corn starch. I'm adding half a cup of the corn starch. I had just about half left in the container, so that's fine. Then three teaspoons of baking powder. Yeah, three, three teaspoons of baking powder, like I said earlier. And then I will be adding three tablespoons of cocoa powder. I didn't have to add salt to this recipe because I will be using salted butter. So these made up my dry ingredients. So I did sieve all the dry ingredients together. And once I was done, I used my whisk to mix them so everything gets incorporated and once that was done I let that sit aside now in my standalone mixer I added half a cup of butter half a cup of vegetable oil and one and a half cup cups of sugar this is because the cocoa powder is bitter so you don't want your cake to taste bitter that's why you have to add the sugar level like you make the sugar level to be more once all that was added into the standalone mixer i added my uh, my paddle attachment and i started to cream the mixture just continue to watch as i do this if you're here for your first time thank you so much for stopping by i am patty g's cakes aka patience kinga mochu creating content on cakes pastries and everything in between i will be more than grateful if you can click on the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to the channel and don't forget to turn on your post notification bells for future uploads then i added a packet of vanilla sugar because i wanted a rich taste of vanilla in the cake don't forget when you're mixing always stop to scrape the sides here i added three eggs three large eggs all at room temperature and i continue to mix everything together using my paddle attachment I also stopped to scrape the sides because you need to scrape the sides so everything gets incorporated. Here I added 1 teaspoon vanilla extract, 1 teaspoon of white vinegar, sorry 1.5 teaspoons of white vinegar and I continue to mix. Now I added my red food coloring. I added 3 tablespoons of red food coloring. This is what makes up the red velvet in the red velvet cake. Just continue to watch as I do this. If at some point you feel like the red velvet is not too red enough, you can add a teaspoon but you don't want um, a very dense red because it might end up making your cake to be bitter. So I think the three teaspoons or maybe two and a half teaspoons is fine. So I continue to mix and I always remember to stop and scrape the sides. Continue to watch as I do this. Here I am now adding my dry ingredients. I added my dry ingredients and I continue to mix. This was on medium high speed. I added the rest of the dry ingredients. And I continue to mix if you have watched till this point thank you so much I am very grateful I am very gr grateful for the fact that you stopped by to watch this um, recipe to watch how I am working on this recipe 
it's a very amazing recipe and you're going to love it so you don't want to over mix right so you have to stop at some point and use your spatula to mix these are two seven inches cake pans that i'll be using at this point i had set my oven to 350 degrees fahrenheit to preheat and once that was preheating i had gotten to um the level the level for me to bake i did put that in the oven but first i just made sure everything got in the cake pan and i used a spoon to level it up So these were all set and ready to get into the oven. My oven was set at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, like I said earlier, and I baked this cake for about 50 minutes or until when a toothpick inserted inside comes out dry. That is what I'll be doing right now. I got a toothpick, I inserted inside the cake, and if you can see, it's quite dry, so the cake is ready. So I took it out of the oven, I let it sit aside and I also let it cool down before I turned it over. Look at how great these cakes look like. I totally love the look. I totally loved everything that, that came out of this red velvet cake and you're going to love it as well. And don't forget to let me know when you try this recipe. Uh, if you have any questions, I'll be more than grateful to answer. And also, if there are other contents you would like me to share, don't hesitate to tell me. So that those that is a, how I stacked up the cake with my yogurt cake, and this was a final look once decorated. This was a dinosaur themed cake for my little one who turned three. He loved it so much, and it was really it blessed my heart so much to see him happy looking at his favorite dinosaurs so that is how it looked like again once stacked below was a red velvet and on top was a yogurt cake and also if you missed watching last week's video where i shared you how to make this amazing snack please check the link above to watch and thanks so much for watching don't forget life can get bitter eat cake to make it sweet until next week bye